Hey guys, Stuck on Collectibles. My name is Brian. Uh, we're here for another video. Uh, this is going to be a quick one, probably. I don't know. This box is a little heavy. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I won a cash prize on DJ Link's channel. Uh, it was $25. I went to his eBay page, picked up a couple things. <clears throat> Sore throat again. And he said he would add some more. So well, now we have a mystery box. So this is an AOK -OK box from DJ Lynx. So let's see. Yeah. Things heavy. So thanks, DJ. Now we're gonna open it. Came in the mail yesterday, but it'll probably be a couple days until it gets posted. I have a video or two before this one, so I already set aside. I will let you know when it goes up. So let's cut here. Cut here. Right. Now this is not the first time I ordered off a of DJ, so thank you. It's always good to find some deals. So, okay. Be rid of the box. And here is the stack. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I picked out four, maybe five off his thing. So, I don't know where we're going to begin, but I am going to. Turn them upside down, not look at them, so that we can make this a proper mystery box. Okay. This one has extra tape on it, so we will remove that. So it's not sticking on anything. Ah, it ripped. Oh well. So get rid of the extra cardboard. Thank you. Packaged very well, sir. As always, it's always good to get them off of someone in the community. So, I'm hoping they're all right side up. I'm going to show you guys first, and then I will look at it. Ooh, G.I. Joe. Front line. Yeah, this is one that I picked off his site. Which is good because <laughs> I just picked up a couple of more issues of this coming down the pipe. But this is issue number three, G.I. Joe Frontline. All right, let's go to the next one. A Force? A Force number four. Ooh, that is a nice cover. That is a nice cover. Okay. Oh, no way. This is A next. This is number 10. This is the first appearance of Hope Pym. Dude. I had this entire set at one time. This is a cool issue. That is nice. Okay, what do we got next? <laughs> this is something DJ collects. He is a big Incredible Hulk fan. What was that, 289? Yes, 289, 60 center. That is cool. Hawk with a gun. I can dig it. And the next one. Oh, Sleepwalker. I can't tell the number. Number four. Sleepwalker number four. In battle with bookworm. 
Wow. That is cool. I read uh, Sleepwalker when it first came out, back in the day. Okay, next one. Oh, we have a Spider-Man. Looks like some clonage action is going on there. That's what you're getting it on. X, Exile Part 3 of 4. 62, Shadows of the Past. That is cool. And it says $10 on the back. Come on, DJ. Oh, wow. Doctor Strange. Nice. The man himself. That is cool. Oh, yeah. Issue 72. That we will be given a read. I probably read it in the past because I had tons of Doctor Strange and this cover does <clears throat> look familiar. See, as you, most of you might have known from watching my videos, I am slowly rebuilding my collection. I don't plan on getting everything that I had before, but if I get something that I've had before or something on a collection I work, I've had before, I'm keeping it. Ain't no doubt about that. Okay, what is next? Okay, yeah, this is one I picked off this thing. This is Blackest Night. Should be number one. Yeah, when it comes to DC, I like a lot of the series. Right now I'm working on DC vs. Vampires. I got most of the regular issues. I want a couple of the variant issues. And I'm slowly working on that. But Blackest Night, I think... Where's the brightest day? couple of these series is I got like one or two of each but this is nice issue one can't go wrong with that okay okay force works here's another one I picked off the site I am slowly working on this set it's not a big set so and I think I have a few of them already but this is number one which I did not have. This is one of those folds out covers. You can see how it indents there and folds out. But that is nice. And I'm not worried about condition. I just want these back that I can read again. So, yeah. Yeah, because that's probably about 9 4. It's got a little markage there on the thing. I'm good with that do with that and here's the last one in the box oh yeah mr. Ben Grimm himself this is fantastic for unplugged I think this is the last one I picked off his eBay site from September 1995 This what was an issue number in here? Issue number one, Fantastic Four unplugged. It's down here under the direct edition. Anything Fantastic Four, I'm trying to rebuild. I don't care if it takes forever, but that is one mean mug. DJ, thank you very much, you, man. You have outdone yourself, young man. And uh, hey, I can say that I'm 50, so. Uh, but thank you. This is well above the $25, dude. I feel blessed to have this stack of books. And I will be reading them all. The downside of this is I think there's only one that I won't keep. I'm sorry. And that's the Spider-Man. I don't know. I'll probably keep them in the back pile. I have a box that I'm starting that I'm keeping, but I'm not 
collecting everything. So it's either like something on the cover or something like that. So maybe I'll go in that. But dude, thank you very much uh, for the excellent giveaway, the AOK Mystery Box. Uh, I will link his channel in the description below. Check out DJ Links. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. What was your favorite book of this box? Me? I loved them all. So that's hard for me to do. But thanks for tuning in, and we'll do another video soon. Have a good one.